I think you're called to being an artist, and you, you can answer that call or not. I love the freedom of expression that an artist is able to have. I love the responsibility that an artist has, which is to pull things out of the universe that can't be said any other way than visually. I'm Olivia Batchelder, and I'm a painter. I work on textiles, and I've been doing that for a long time. I've been exhibiting at the Sawdust for 26 years now. The Sawdust is a great event. There's not very many places anywhere in the world that you can have an outdoor show, a beautiful little shop all summer long. It's a great show. It allows artists to be very free with their work. There's, there's some guidelines, but for the most part, we really get to define our own place in the world. I love silk painting for its color potential. Nothing else will receive color like silk will, except maybe glass art. So that, that makes it very appealing to me, and I've grown to think of myself as a colorist because of the color on the silk. It's painting. It's like watercolor painting with dye. So how I start the whole thing is white. I do the landscape painting part first, and I do it like a painting. The silk is stretched on a large wooden frame, and, and uh, I mix up my colors before I start. I mix up one basic color for the background that I have quite a bit of, because you don't want to stop in the middle of your painting and have to mix up some more dye, because for this process, everything that's integral to one piece needs to stay damp at the same time. So I apply the dyes. I work very wet when I'm doing that, and the, at the last part I do some texturizing with salt crystals, and the salt crystals create a one, wonderful landscape-like motif. I'm not attempting to be realistic. I'm attempting to be inspired by landscape and use the colors of the landscapes. When I paint the ocean, I use wonderful blues, but sometimes red, because the ocean reflects all the colors that are around it. And if the sky is red or the sun is setting, you have to put those colors in too. So I paint the cloth and then I let it set. It takes a while for the salt, salted areas to dry because the salt uh, is hygroscopic and draws moisture from the air and moisture from the cloth. When it's completely dry, I remove the, the finished cloth from the stretching frame and then it goes into a steam chamber and that sets the dye. So when things come out of the steamer, I wash them again by hand, then I hang them on the clothesline, they dry, then I iron them. All this goes over several days, then I cut, cut them and then I sew them. So all those are parts of my process. The painting is the best part. It's the part that makes, makes the clothing art clothing and it's the part that the artist, me, likes the most. <laughs>